Hey everyone, we are filming live from the kitchen. Can you say hi? And we want to talk to you today about some things that I have learned that I wish I knew regarding meal prep. So by a show of hearts, how many of you currently do some sort of meal prep throughout the week? You love meal prep, good, okay. Uh, well, meal prep is something for me that has been key to staying on track with my nutrition. So those of you who are busy moms, I'm sure you can relate to this. The weeks get crazy. And if I don't have a plan, yes, you love meal prep. If I don't have a plan for what I'm gonna eat and how I'm gonna stay on track, I typically just, it's just bad. So, you know, we'll be like grabbing whatever we have in the pantry you missed me this morning yeah so today's Sunday so we went to church and actually guess what my mom is here visiting so we picked her up from the airport and we've had a lot of fun um, family day but I, I, I missed you so I had to come on at least for a second to say hello and to give you some of my tips about meal prep so I'm gonna share the four P's of meal prep now this is like serious hair pulling I'm going to share the four P's of meal prep and um, some things that I wish I had known. So Warren's going to go to grandma. Can you say hi to everybody? He just wanted to say hi because look how cute he is. He's so cute. You're getting hearts, Warren. Okay, so grandma, do you want to come say hi to Paris? Sure. Oh, this is my mom. Oh, hi, everyone. Yeah, so um, we picked up mom from the airport. Grandma is very loved here. And um, of course she's loved by the grandkids. And then it's so nice for me to have extra hands, right? So um, I'm gonna hand off Warren and then we're gonna play. See ya. And I'm gonna talk to you about some things I wish I had known about meal prep. So previously, before I had kids, meal prep wasn't as big of a deal for me because I, I mean, it was just me and Patrick. So we could kind of, you know, do what we wanted. We had lots of extra time, but when I had the boys, like life got crazy. And I wish I had known that there was a sane way to do meal prep because in my mind, meal prep had to be this big ordeal. And it had to be like, it was, I just, it, I overcomplicated it. And I was so paralyzed by thinking like, it's this huge thing, I need to do it every, for like three hours every Sunday, that I just didn't do it at all, till I found a better way. So I'm gonna share that better way with you today. Are you guys ready? Are you excited to hear? Okay, so there are four P's to my meal prep. This is like my meal prep secret. This is kind of like what I've come up with. Hey, um, that works so well for me. It works so well for all of our Beyond Fit Life sisters. So I wanna share this with you. The four P's. The first P is step one, and that is to plan. So you have to plan ahead. Step two is to prepare. Obviously, you have to prepare the food. And step three is to put it all together. So P1, plan. P2, prepare. P3, put it all together. And P4, put it away. So if you just, if you're overwhelmed by the idea of meal prep, if you're like, I don't know where to start, like this is overwhelming, like I'm just not gonna do it at all because like, you know, I see all these people on social media where their meal prep is like, I mean, like counter and counter and counters full of like Tupperwares and like, I can't do that, it's okay. It's okay, calm down, relax. It doesn't have to be that way. There's an easier way. Follow these four Ps, you'll get it done in an hour, hour and a half, um, two to three hours max, if, if, and that's doing like every single meal. Um, but it doesn't have to be overcomplicated. So step one is to plan and shop. I first, for me, I like to do meal prep typically on Sundays. Yeah. Hey, thank you for my secretary. Love you. Love you. So we have lots of new people maybe who are coming on. For those of you who don't know me, hey, I'm Kate. Um, and I teach women, specifically moms, how to live healthy, happy, and balanced lives. So we talk about training. We talk about nutrition, which is what we're talking about today, how to do meal prep. And we talk about the missing piece of the puzzle, which is 
hormones. So nutrition is very important because it impacts your hormones. And meal prep is a big part of staying on track with your nutrition. So that's why I'm sharing today my four P's of meal prep. They are P number one, to plan. P number two, to prepare your food. P number three, to put it all together. And I'm gonna tell you in just a few minutes kind of how I break up each one of my meals in terms of serving sizes, proteins, fats, that sort of thing. And then P4 is just put it all away. And I'm gonna share my secret with that too. So we'll get into depth on each one of those. Um, but if you don't know where to find me, you can find me at Beyond Fit Mom on social media, Facebook, Instagram, um, and then Beyond Fit Life. How many of you on the call are Beyond Fit Life sisters? Will you type sister in the comments if you're a sister and show me your name? Because I can't figure out your name necessarily by your little screen name. So if you're new, will you type new in the comments? And if you're a sister, will you type sister? Hey, Lauren. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Katie. Okay, so I've got lots of sisters on. Good. Hey, Dee. Okay, so my sisters, are you guys prepared for the week? Have you done your meal prep yet? Do you know what you're eating? Newish sister, Katie. Hey, hey, hey. And we've got some new ladies. Great. Awesome. So if you're new, hey, Krista. Awesome. Glad to have you. Uh, just finished your meal prep. Good. Okay, not yet, but you'll get to it, right, Dee? Okay, I'm counting on you guys. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Yes. Uh, okay, so first, what I do, typically I do my meal prep on Sundays. So sometime throughout the weekend, I'm kind of going to do like an inventory of my pantry and of my kitchen. Um, I like to do fat loss on a budget. Um, I don't know if you guys can relate, but I don't have a money tree growing out in the backyard. So for me, I like to make sure first off I'm using up what I already have and um, that I'm kind of being smart about what I'm purchasing. Okay. so. I always look through my fridge, my freezer, and my pantry, and I see if there's anything that I need to like use up, okay? And then I go into the Beyond Fit Life members portal and I download my weekly meal planner. And it's just, I download it and print it. And then I fill it in. I like to write, like I'm old school. I know you could do this on your phone, but I like to like write it out. So I just print my weekly meal planner and it tells me like I have little boxes where I can write what I'm planning to eat. So I'll plan first and I'll plan out what I'm gonna have, and then I'll write my grocery list based on what I need and what I already have. So things I already have in the pantry, things I already have in the fridge, um, like in the freezer, yeah, pen and paper all the way. Um, you know, it, if like something's on sale, like maybe a good cut of meat is on sale. I'll get a bunch, I'll put it in the freezer, and then maybe I'll use that up for the week. Or, you know, just whatever you already have. You don't need to be crazy and like overhaul your entire grocery budget. Like, use what you have. And then, you know, um, whatever I need, then we'll go to the store and I'll get that. And then step two is just to prepare the food. So we could do like a whole nother broadcast. Are you guys interested in this, in this stuff? Would you like to see like a whole nother broadcast on ways to like actually prepare the food? Do you like like recipe slash like cooking kind of broadcast by a show of hearts? Okay, so there are like a million ways, depending on what you're making, that you could prepare your food. Um, I'm gonna take you into my kitchen in just a minute, but I have a crock pot going, I have stuff on the stove, like a big pot. Um, I love crock pots because they're easy. Uh, I have the grill with chicken, so I'm grilling a bunch of meat. Um, and then I like to do like a crushless quiche, and that's in the oven. So like there are a million different ways you could prepare your food, but that's step two. You actually have to get into the kitchen and you have to make it. And when you're preparing, this is the secret. You have to do big batches, okay? So like I do big batches of protein. I do big batches of starch. Like I'll do a big pot of brown rice or we'll do a bunch of oatmeal. Um, on the grill, I have like tons of chicken breasts, okay? We'll do enough chili to last, you know, all week. So you wanna, you wanna prepare in large batches Crock pots are awesome, especially with kids in sports, yeah. So you wanna prepare in large batches so you have enough to portion out, okay? So you gotta like double, triple your recipes and um, make, make, make large quantities. And then the third piece, so the first piece is to plan and shop. Look through what you already have, look through your pantry, look through your freezer, then plan out what you're gonna eat, what meals based on what you already have, and then make a list and shop for what you don't have, what you need. Then you're gonna prepare it. So follow the recipe, you wanna double, triple the recipes, you wanna make a bunch, prepare all the food. And then you're gonna put it all together. And for me, I, um, I used to use Tupperware, but I really love Pyrex now. Pyrex are like glass, 
kind of Tupperware-ish containers, and they come in all sizes. And I'll show you in the kitchen when we go in there um, the Pyrex that I love. But Pyrex is awesome because you can actually bake and reheat and store it all in the same dish. So like I'll do a big batch of sweet potatoes, but I'll put them each into, yeah, you like your glass so much better. I'll put each like half a sweet potato into its own Pyrex, pet, Pyrex dish and I'll bake that and I'll pull it out and it's already ready. So like for sweet potatoes, maybe I'll do that and then I'll grab some chicken off the grill and I'll put that in with the sweet potato, put a lid on it, put it in the fridge and that's a lunch that's ready to grab and go. Um, so once everything's cooked, you're gonna have to put it together. Now typically, and this is um, just because of my body type and my goals, um, typically I like to do like one serving of protein and one serving of starch and maybe like half a serving of fruit um, for breakfast. So whatever I'm making for the week, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um, if you are like really hardcore about wanting to track your macros, log into the Beyond Fit Life um, members group on Facebook and there's a whole thread going about how to calculate your macros, how to know how much to eat, um, and you can plug in all your recipes and do all that. Um, but if you're just kind of um, following you know, the hormonal approach or you're, you're doing macros and you're kind of curious about how to split up your meals, this works really well for me. It balances hunger, it balances energy, it keeps me from having a bunch of cravings, and it works. Okay, so I'll do breakfast and I'll do like one serving of protein, it's typically a serving of starch, and like half a serving of fruit. And for me, I work out really early in the morning, so my breakfast is actually like after a protein shake. So I'll do like a post-workout protein shake right after my workout, and then I'll have breakfast a little bit later in the morning. Um, and then for lunch, I typically do like one serving of protein and a serving of starch. So a good example of that would be like chicken breast off the grill and like half of a sweet potato. And then maybe I'll cut up the chicken breast and put it on a salad for my lunch and I'll have the sweet potato on the side. But I already have my chicken done, I already have my sweet potato done, and I'll have my salad and a lot of my like veggies and stuff in the fridge ready to go. I use BCAAs and coffee or a pre-workout. Um, before I work out, I work out super early, like five in the morning. So I'm not usually like wanting a big breakfast. Um, if you feel like your uh, energy is lacking and you need something in the morning, like a scoop of protein, maybe with some oatmeal, um, that would be a good option. Yeah, or just like a scoop of protein, shake it up with some almond milk and go. Yeah, but I like it quick so I can just get my workout and get it in. And then for snack, usually I'll have like a serving of protein with some fat. Um, this week I think I'm gonna do homemade peanut butter cups. Does that sound good? Oh my gosh, um, I haven't made them yet, but if, if I make them and they're good, um, I will post the recipe on Instagram, so watch Beyond Fit Mom on Instagram. Um, but I think that's gonna be like my, my snack this week. Um, and then dinner usually is like a serving of protein and another serving of fat. And I'm eating like fibrous veggies all throughout the day. So I'll do lots of fibrous veggies cut up, ready to grab out of the fridge. It beats grabbing a bag of chips out of the pantry, right? And and um, having them cut and ready really helps me. So step one is plan and shop. Step two is prepare the food. Step three is put it all together, right? So figure out your servings, your portions, and then put it all together. And then step four is just put it away, which is like you just put the containers in the fridge. Um, you know, if, if you're gonna like go over three or four days with your meat, sometimes I'll freeze the Pyrex and they freeze really well. Um, if you're using plastic, you wanna make sure that it's like really heavy duty and quality. You don't want things to crack. If you're gonna reheat it, that can kind of be questionable. So I really like going the glass route um, and that's it. So let me show you what I kind of have going on in the kitchen. I'm about ready to kind of get all the way into it. I have some stuff already going. Um, but do you guys have any questions? So the four P's of meal prep. First, plan and shop. If you are a Beyond Fit Life member, you can download my meal planner. It's just a weekly meal planner template. It's cute, it's fun, you can stick it on your fridge, stick it on your bulletin board in the kitchen and write down what meals you're gonna have for each um, meal or snack that week. As you plan, then you make your grocery list based on that. Prepare the food, that's duh, right? And we could do like a bunch of, of broadcasts on preparing the food if you guys are interested. Show parts, does that interest you? Okay, cool. 
Yeah, okay, so we could do that, yeah. And then you put it all together. Um, so you figure out kind of what your goals are, what your serving sizes are, if you need help with kind of calculating your macros or figuring out how to adjust your nutrition based on your progress. Um, I have a guide, a nutrition intake adjustment guide for you in the members group. So just go on in there. Um, and you can adjust like your protein, your fat, your starch based on your hunger, your energy, your cravings, and your progress. It's so easy. You just like read where you're at and then it tells you what to adjust. So if you're not a member, you need to join beyondfitlife.com and then go over to our Facebook, private Facebook group and all that's there for you. And then you just put it all away. So show of hearts, you guys want to head into the kitchen and see what's going on in there. I'll kind of give you a sneak peek. Um, this is just our Sunday. Um, like I said, my mom's here this week visiting, which is going to be fun. So I have a couple of dinners where we're going to go out to eat, which is great because fat loss happens anywhere. You don't have to be slave to your Tupperware. Um, but I do want to make sure that I have healthy things on hand so that we can stay on track with our nutrition this week. Okay. So let's go. And I'm actually going to flip Okay, so this is homemade salsa, which is amazing. And the homemade salsa is going to go onto this. I've already browned this up. And this is um, meat, ground beef, lean ground beef with um, taco seasoning. And then for my other proteins, I have the crock pot going with some buffalo chicken. I have eggs, a crustless quiche, and the crustless quiche is going in the oven. So um, I focus on the two peas, produce and protein mainly. So I have crustless quiche for breakfast, buffalo chicken that'll go on salads. We have a skinny taco salad bar that's gonna be this week. And then the quiche is cooking. And then over here um, is like our produce. So I'm gonna chop up some cucumbers and have those ready to go. I've got lots of stuff for salads. I've got, oh, you love the quiche, awesome, I'm so glad. Um, I've got lots of other veggies and stuff that I'll just chop and put in the fridge. And then I actually like to do my oats ahead of time. So these are frozen blueberries. Patrick takes oatmeal with blueberries and stevia every morning for breakfast to eat like midday at work. So I'll prepare all of that ahead of time and we'll bake those up. Um, let me show you my Pyrex. So when all of this is done baking, then I use this glass Pyrex, so you can see that. And um, like there's all different sizes, so this is a big one. Um, let's see, these are my favorite to bake with. So these are like a perfect size to bake sweet potatoes. Um, I'll throw a chicken breast in there. I put the oats with the blueberries in these little, they're so cute, look, they're so cute. These little tiny ones. Um, and then we even have like some bigger ones. Let me show you these. Um, that are really good for like storing stuff. So I love the Pyrex and let's see, there's that. Um, and then, like I said, the, the cool thing about the Pyrex is that you can bake, um, bake with it directly. So that's kind of what we have going on. Um, stuff's on the grill, stuff's in the oven, stuff's in the crock pot, stuff's in the big pot. So it's like, Everything is just like going all at once. We're using um, kind of the batch method where it's like big batches, prepare it all at once, and then it's ready for the week, which it just makes things so easy. So um, I wanna know, does this help you? Like, does this encourage you not to be overwhelmed? I wish I had known about meal prep. Here's what I wish I had known. I wish I had known that it didn't have to be so overwhelming. I wish I had known that um, you could still like use up what you have. And I wish I had known about the glass because the Pyrex has been a game changer for me, baking directly in the Pyrex rather than using plastic Tupperware. I wish I had known that. I wish I had known when I was putting it all together to be mindful of like, this is a serving of protein, this is a serving of starch. Being mindful of that with my goals, I wish that was something that I had known. Um, and I wish I had known that like, you can do it all at once and do big batches and it just makes it go so much quicker. The four Ps, you wanna plan, you wanna prepare, you wanna put it all together and then you put it all away and then you're done and it's so awesome, it's so quick and easy. So if this is helpful, will you guys help me to spread the word? Will you share? So swipe right if you're on an iPhone, swipe up if you're on an Android. 
And when you swipe, then you have to follow me. Make sure you're following because when you follow, then you'll get alerts of our broadcast this week. And I'm gonna plan on um, so serving sizes, yeah, so that's gonna be based on your goals. Um, and we have general serving sizes, like kind of a good starting place under the general nutrition guide in the Beyond Fit Life members portal. So I know you're a member, so you just log on in and you'll see the general serving sizes um, for protein, for carbohydrates, for fats. And that's just a really good place to start because a lot of times like people do meal meal prep and they think they're doing great but like they're not being mindful at all of grace morgan christy woohoo yay thanks for inviting followers that's awesome um so they're not being mindful of their servings and then it, it's good but it's not as good as it could be yay oh this is so cool so i can see when you share it okay so share invite your followers this is the four p's of meal prep this is important you guys know that you guys want to know that's katie oh I need glasses? Did you tell me earlier? Okay, Katie, thanks. Um, thank you for sharing. See, okay, I have to know your screen name. Otherwise, I'm gonna call you the completely wrong name. I'm so sorry, my apologies, Katie. Um, Rogers, yeah, okay. You, say hi to Stella from Jackson. He's having so much fun with Grandma. He's getting um, really, really spoiled already. Yeah. Um, okay, so make sure you're following Swipe and then follow, and then share, 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 okay? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you for sharing, and hey, um, will you, if you're on Twitter, will you share this and hashtag dope scope? Um, there's a contest going on right now, and um, a bunch of people are looking for Periscope broadcasters that are helpful, that provide value to um, the people that listen. So you guys know, I'm not a celebrity. There's nothing special about me other than I care about you and I want to share my tips that works for me with you. So um, if you guys think this is a dope scope, I would love for you to comment on Twitter and hashtag dope scope and Shaleen Johnson is actually doing the search. So you could tag her and tell her this is a dope scope yeah, and um, will you will you do that? Cause I have a lot that I'd love to share, and I think our message, I mean our message is the industry needs to know, moms need to know how to live healthy, happy, balanced lives, right? So it would be awesome if we could reach a larger audience and um, and we could do that. So share, hashtag dope scope, tag Shalene Johnson. Can somebody write that in there so you guys know? Yeah, and that's just like a bonus. That would be really cool. Um, but I just, I love you guys so much and I'm so excited for the week. So members, don't forget your meal prep. You've downloaded your calendar. You know which workouts you're doing this week. I'm loving these body weight, um, body type blueprint workouts, aren't you guys? Like, I like the body weight workouts, but it's so good to be back to the weights, lifting those heavy weights. Um, if you missed our broadcast last week, last week on cellulite or yesterday on butt implants, that thing, seriously. Go to catch with a K dot M E forward slash beyond fit mom and you can watch all our previous broadcasts. My next broadcast will probably be sometime around 11 o'clock tomorrow. That's when Warren's napping. So I like to use my time when he's sleeping to chat with you guys. Um, I think if you like sisters, I really do. I love you. Um, you guys are sweet girlfriends and you mean a lot to me. So I hope that this has helped you. If it has helped, please share by a show of hearts. Um, was this helpful? Was this something that, good, okay, good, I hope so. Is there anything that you wanna talk about this week? Any questions you have before, um, before I head out? I'm gonna go get back in the kitchen and finish up my meal prep and then enjoy some time with my mama and my kids. So I love you guys. I will check in with you in the Facebook group to answer any questions you have. If you're not a member, join beyondfitlife.com. You'll get all our recipes. We have killer recipes, like killer. And sisters, if you guys love the recipes, like thumbs up in the comments. Our Beyond Fit Life recipes are amazing. They're so good. They're husband and kid approved, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. And um, then you get workouts and you get tons of tips and tricks on hormones and how to balance fat, fat fighting hormones and how to stress less. And yeah, it's just like, 
it's awesome. So we got some new people that are just jumping on. For those of you who are new, hey, I'm Kate. We just wrapped up the broadcast, but you can watch the replay, okay? And um, then plan to join us tomorrow around 11 if Warren naps accordingly, and then we'll talk then, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.